Well, good day, fellow steam enthusiasts, and we're going to go over um, what's going on with a gas control valve. Now, this is a standard uh, Honeywell. Uh, this happens to the code is a VR8340M3103. The V stands for valve, the R stands for redundant, meaning in underneath this cover here are two um, solenoid uh, shutoff valves to make sure that there is no gas leakage. Um, and that's what's code the 8, 8000 series and then the three standing for, uh, standing for the size of the uh, probably the outlet there which is three quarter inch. A couple of the salient features uh, we have a downstream plug with it which it looks like this let's see if I can get a focus there we go um, it is eighth inch national pipe thread and it has a 3 16 inch hex in it which is standard here in North America so we have uh, at least on the Honeywells uh, the V the VR8 8, 8, 8000 series we have a um, tapping here. This is for the um, pilot um, and this is the uh, upstream plug. I've got it removed and I've got a um, let's see if I've got one. No, I don't have another one. Um, that's attached to a hose which is going to a low pressure gauge and the inner one is in ounces so we got a little over four ounces but generally here um, in the 19th century <laughs> we measure in inches of water column and so as you can see that's seven inches of water column which is about the the range that we would expect for a um, older gas supply system. So that's our gas control cock there. The gas meter is X number of feet away. And now we're going to go ahead and turn on the, the boiler. And it'll take a few minutes while it uh, does its self check. Let's see if we. See if you can see the blinking lights. Yeah, there it goes. And bear with me. There it goes. Okay. The damper is opening and going through, and it's going to go through the box here and send um, power through the pilot valve that's going to be proven by the flame sensor and the main valve will come on. And the pressure at this inlet tap there dropped uh, Pretty far. That's uh, four and a half inches, which is um, minimal. The reason being is you're going to. This is designed to put out. Uh, let's see if it gives you. Yeah. Where is it? Yes, three and a half inches, and it can be adjusted between three and five um, inches of, of water column. But the maximum that should come out is three and a half inches. And that's um, kind of standard. Uh, you have another tapping here in this manifold. And that's how this is supposed to be engineered. These are engineered with um, sp specific orifice sizes. 45 is probably the, the, the drill size number of the hole where the gas is shooting into this um, uh, basically Bunsen burner. 
So there is a one inch water column pressure drop through the gas valve. So if we were to take this tap out um, and uh, set up our gauge, we would see what the actual downstream gas is. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the gas. Take that out. You heard the um, safety shut down. And this has a little screw which I can shut. That's really nice. And I'm going to take my 3 16 hex. I've already had this out. These things are ground in pretty tightly. So I've got that. So I can at least get it out by, by hand. And go ahead and put an eighth inch nipple. Let's see where are you? There you are. In there. Focus. There we go. Snug that up. Go ahead and put our hose on there. And turn our gas back on. And there is pressure there which is uh, let's see yeah a little over it's almost four which is too high so in Honeywell systems let's see what we got there that is the adjusting screw That's covered over with this cap, which is normally there. I've removed it with a screwdriver, bladed, typical bladed screwdriver. Now you can use a regular screwdriver in there, but uh, the newer ones, you want to probably use a Torx 40. And what you're doing is, if you turn it to tighten, what you're doing is compressing a spring, which is actually increasing um, uh, the gas pressure overall. You're tightening a spring, which is controlling a lever, which is controlling the diaphragm. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this to loosen. And I want you, as I'm turning it, Counterclockwise, we're going to see that start to drop. Wow, come on. Must have had that screwed in all the way. There we go. There we are. You can hear the, the flame drop. There is about three and a half. So if the gas in, incoming gas pressure drops, probably want to downfire it to probably about three. That's that's as low as I'd want to go. That's the bleeding edge right there. And then of course you want to check this with uh, combustion efficiency test equipment. Make sure you're not generating um, carbon monoxide. Like I say, there's got that's a little set screw. That's a nice. I forget where I got that. I'm sorry if anybody asks. I say I, I really don't know, um, but it's it's in my kit. And we've got pretty good. Um, Uh, control of our water level. It's a little bit bouncy. We're probably going to need a bit more cleaning on that. I'm finding that this boiler is pretty sensitive to water level. Um, if you start out much above this water line, it um, 
about maybe an inch above this water line on a cold start, it just goes crazy. It just um, loses all um, integrity of, uh, of um, separation inside the uh, what passes for a steam, steam chest on a 21st century boiler. So this video is running pretty long. Um, I hope uh, hope that answers any questions that you may have on setting this up. Uh, I would not advise uh, uh, anybody but professionals to uh, mess with this. This is just to show what I do anyway. Um, others may have different techniques or different. Uh, ways of doing things I, I appreciate that and uh, if I'm doing something really crazy I'm <laughs> sure you'll let me know uh, and again uh, stay safe out there folks and uh, signing off